Well, good morning, Evangel Church. We're going to continue with Tim Keller's book, God's Wisdom for Navigating Life. We look at Proverbs. And uh, this morning's verse is Proverbs chapter 30, verses 1 through 3. And it says this I am weary, God, but I can prevail. Surely I am only a brute, not a man. I do not have human understanding. I have not learned wisdom, nor have I attained to the knowledge of the Holy One. Longing for God. The speaker says he has no more understanding of life and God than an animal or a brute. Is that an exaggeration? Yes, but a healthy, paradoxical one. He says he doesn't know God, but that very statement is a mark of spiritual awakening. Those who are confident they know God well, don't. And those who cry that they don't know him at all have begun to do so. Sometimes a keen sense of God's absence is a sign that he is actually drawing us closer to him. The man who cried, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief, was actually putting faith in Jesus at that moment. You see that in Mark 9, 24. The first step to remedying ignorance is to know the full extent of your ignorance. C.S. Lewis says this in Mere Christianity. If anyone would like to acquire humility, I can, I think, tell him the first step. If you think you are not conceited, you are very conceited indeed. The sage in Proverbs 30, verses 1 through 3, took the first step by admitting the infinite gap in knowledge between God and human beings, and therefore the need for God's revelation. The next step is to listen to the word of God and admit we are sinners in need of grace. Can you honestly say you have a hunger to know God? And then he shares this prayer. Lord, teach me the absolutely essential spiritual skill of repentant self-examination but help me to avoid the self-absorption of morbid introspection. Amen. Well, longing for God. You know, it's, it may only be the beginning, but the longing for God and the wanting to want more is a beginning with a sure end. Because for those who truly want to know God, he will reveal himself. Well, I pray your day today is full of desiring to know God more and seeing him reveal himself through his word and through the circumstances of life. So I pray that you be blessed today. Have a wonderful week. And uh, remember, we love you and we miss you.